Okay, so my last video got cut off. Um, <laughs> it got cut off. <laughs> Anyways, um, I'm gonna do some tarot. There is, um, because of this, um, chemical pollution, okay, these things that are approved, um, that really aren't good for us and nature, like, you'll see, like, they'll be, like, cruelty-free, vegan, da 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 well, plants are poisonous for us, right? It, that's not new news. Okay, so these things that are safe, they aren't safe. And it's being collected in the water. Um, chemical baths are being collected in the water. Okay, so like human bodies that are decomposed um, with chemicals, that's being put in the oceans um, with trafficking. Uh, the thing, the stuff that they spray on the grass isn't actually good for us either. That's being collected. All these things that are like, terrible for the human body are being collected, evaporated, condensated, and precipitated down onto us. There's like, and it's like going back to something, they're showing me a Bible. It's like going back into something about the Bible where something rains down. Okay, this is the chemicals that we're putting on the earth or that we're like spreading on the ground, making our grounds infectious, infectious grounds. Okay, back in the day, you wouldn't be allergic to grass or trees or nature. It just wouldn't be. You're just more, you're just more susceptible to these chemicals than, than the next person. Yes, that's true. Okay, so because of this, God is going to send a vibration to Mother Earth, which is going to have, like, droughts. I heard struck by lightning, household fires, um, like, natural disasters where, like, you're going to be like, well, well, there's no explaining that, right? Well, there is. There is because, like, God and Mother Nature go hand in hand. Um, and, yeah. Like, that won't stop happening until people don't, like, just stop messing around. Something like that. But, like, natural disasters. Just for being... I don't even know. I don't even know what to say. I don't even know what to say because I don't really know, but that's what I know from that. So like, take it as you will. If you're intuitive, you can, you can go off of that. Um, but that was in the dream state. Somebody feels like an overwhelming sense of doom because they, they think that they're going to jail. Yes, they're exposed. They know their fate. They know their fate. They try to kill a queen of cups. They were illegally watching, they were spying for no reason. This person, they had no reason. They just lied about their reasoning and kept this information from this person. They didn't need to be watched. I'm hearing terrorist. Someone, what? <laughs> Sorry, that took me off guard. Somebody said that, um, you were a terrorist or that I was a terrorist. That's a lie. Okay. That's great perjury. <laughs> That's like terrible, right? Terrible. If somebody said that somebody was a terrorist, like you better look into that background when you find out the person that they're talking about isn't. Best be looking into that person and their friends. Because you are who you're around, right? Who are the top pe five people that that person hangs out with? 
<sighs> people. People. Somebody's saying that somebody is a false prophet and that is not true. You will get bad karma for that. Like you'll probably be a part of one of these people where your shit starts getting destroyed and people start getting sick around you. Um, just because you choose to like attack somebody who does God's work. Mm -hmm. And real tarot readers do God's work. I don't know why I felt the need to say that, but it is the truth. Okay. It just is. And people that, people that like want to like fight against saying that they don't even really know. They don't know. They don't even know what to know when it comes to tarot. And they don't even know what to know when it comes to their own relationship with God. Otherwise they wouldn't be harping on you for your relationship with God. Right? They'll know that it's a soul journey. Um, when you see people doing that, you just know that they're insecure with where they are at with God. Because if you weren't, if you had a really good connection with God, you'd know that that feeling, the feeling that comes along with doing that to somebody feels wrong. It feels wrong. So just pray for them. Pray for them. It's like you won't be affected in this. Like these people that are trying to like um, speak bad on your name. Um, paint you to look a certain way. Say that you're not real, whatever. Um, there, there will be disasters in their life and it won't touch you. You'll just have this shield of God around you. <laughs> oh, snap. Well, that's good. That's good. Okay. It's just burdened. Ten of wands. Ten of wands. Somebody's carrying all the arrows they threw at you. Because you just keep handing it over to God, right? God heals it for you. <laughs> and then they're like left with all the actions that they did, right? Because if people look into your situation, right? They'll notice all everything these people did and they'll notice the nothing that you did. Not even the reaction, right? Maybe the reaction of cutting people off and saying, I will not retaliate. And that's it, right? And then they tried harder and harder and harder. And harder. New tactics. Regroup. <laughs> Town meeting. <laughs> uh, where they talk about bullshit. Okay. To set people up. And um, have s other people's ships come in. Um, and arrest people for no fucking reason. Um, and spend money foolishly on stupid shit like sidewalks. Um, <laughs> I don't know why they said like sidewalks. Anyways, to nine of swords, the empress, right? Like they don't even talk about things that actually really matter for the greater good of the people. You know, it's actually the opposite, like random acts of hate. I spoke about random acts of hate on this morning's reading. <sighs> and you just got to rise above that. You just got to rise above, okay? Protect your energy and do the opposite, right? Random acts of kindness because that could um, make somebody's day. Okay, so these people wanted to put you into a depression, depression, anxiety, in order to um, 
exasperate illnesses and create illnesses, right? Anything that you have, let it get worse. Um, and then let me also infect the mind, body, and spirit with random acts of hate, witchcraft, um, infectious grounds. I'm hearing infe infectious grounds again. They really want me to emphasize the infectious grounds of like chemical pollution, okay? Chemical pollution. Specifically to collection, the collection part of it, where everything kind of like goes to the ocean. Runoff. Yeah, it's heartbreaking. It's heartbreaking. Ooh, ten of wands, nine of swords, three of swords. Heartache, pain, anxiety, depression. Somebody's enlightened on the stagnancies that you cause an empress, this overseer, this distant watcher. Who is excited to implement the tactics. I'm hearing militant tactics. What the fuck? So like you just went all out. <laughs> you just went all out. Obviously, this is someone of status, of stature, to be able to like know militant tactics or they're a part of the military, you know? I'm hearing collab. They collab to do this. Okay. You were excited. You were excited. You saw eye to eye. Okay, so this is like enemy alliances. Okay. So, somebody who wanted you depressed, anxiety, and heartbroken. Up at night. Like these people got a sense of excitement when you were screaming. In pain. Heartache. Depression. Like it gave them it, it it gave them happiness. Ah, <laughs> what the fuck? Your turn, your turn, your turn. And now people see eye to eye with me. Okay. Like, obviously there's a good side. Okay, and then this kind of leads like to like you know evil scientists and people of hate. Okay. There are scientists that are great out there, and they're going to start pairing with healers, okay? The healer-scientist dynamic is like an unstoppable force, is what I was getting the other day. And this kind of ties into it. Like, um, when people, like, look over this stuff, okay? Adam, for example, he's a healer, okay? And he has a scientist who works alongside him. Like, they bounce ideas off of each other, right? A scientist with an open mind. Um, so... Like, say I had a dream, <laughs> say I have dreams, okay, which I do, I have dreams, and then I were to, like, bring up this idea to a really healthy, proactive, want to do good for humankind scientists, okay, they would be able to take it to grounds that I couldn't take it just based off of what they know in their science degree, whatever, right, their profession, their field, their field of work, um, this would bring them excitement to be able to just like um, have ideas outside of where their brain could take them and then their brain could take it even further and expound off of that, right? It's just like an unstoppable force when it comes to like these healer scientist dynamics, okay? To like combat all the fucking hate out here, all the evil scientist shit. All the food science scientists, agricultural scientists, fucking bullshit that like is actually infecting the world. That is an idea from God. Like, you know, like somebody 
get a healthy healer and a healthy scientist who want to make a difference in the world. Okay, which makes things that are actually healthy. Okay, just because you are against what? Animal cruelty doesn't mean that's just your perception on things okay it's not best for the it's not for the greater good of everybody okay we are carnivores by nature we just are um so i mean if you want to keep getting poisoned by certain things just because it's cruelty free animal cruelty free whatever the fuck you decide it is um doesn't mean that it's good. Doesn't mean that it's good. I ate a strawberry the other day and almost felt like I wanted to die. Due to depression. Due to an overwhelming sense of itch all over my body. My tongue was swelling up. Slightly, but it felt different. Um... I just think that it's like if, if you've never tested it out for yourself, if you've never looked into these doctors who are talking about um, us being carniv carnivores, like look into that. Really, really educate yourself before you become like um, really stubborn, hard headed towards something. Let's make this, let's make this not toxic grounds. Let's make this not infectious grounds. Let's make this, let's, let's make this healthy grounds. Grounds of safety. Um, a loving place, a loving environment, right? This is a really hateful environment right now. And like the ancestors, God and mother, mother earth are pissed. Like, well, they're not happy, that's for sure. Everyone has a free willing choice and they know that. But you'll see like these things happen, these natural disasters happen and people are like, well, what can you do? We can't control this. Like she's carrying something in her hands and it's something to do with knowledge. Just stop having such a closed mind and, and like be open to what people are saying, right? You don't, need, you don't always have to have something to say. Go have your own opinion. Okay, you don't need to have an opinion to everybody else's opinion, especially when they're just growing off of intuition. Like God gave this person that message and they chose to share it with you. Even if you think that that person doesn't know what they're talking about, okay? There's someone healthy who can take that information and run with it. Okay, so your opinions don't really matter anyways. <laughs> Okay, so that's it for the tarot. I, I feel like that's it for the tarot. <laughs> I'm going to do some cue cards. Greatness. Yeah, because, like, this is actually, like, somebody's actually great. Because they have faith. They have faith in the messages that they get. Something about a victim impact statement. Somebody's like, we should get a victim impact statement. Um, my grandma wrote me a victim impact statement once when I when I went to um, tell my story about how my ex tried to kill me, how to, tried to shoot me. My grandma gave a victim impact statement of when I came off the streets and came to her house. 
and the, the symptoms I was getting all over my body, um, the way that I was up screaming at night from night terrors. Um, she wrote a victim impact statement for me. And what I think about victim impact statements now, I think I'm not a victim. <laughs> I think I'm not a victim. So I don't even know about that. So if you feel like you're a victim, then yeah, go write it. If you don't, make sure they know that you're not a victim. This lesson of greatness, Virgo. Some sort of Virgo learning a lesson. Pride, ego. Ooh, those are terrible lessons. <laughs> A Virgo's learning a pride and ego lesson. <laughs> Even the high horse that he's on is side eyeing him. <laughs> Bro, get off my back. <laughs> get off my back. <laughs> Rumors, Pisces, trouble, extraordinary love in the reverse ordinary by choice I don't remember what that means because that doesn't make too much sense to me anymore but I'm just gonna put this up here or maybe not I'm gonna put that to the side I gotta figure out what that means to me now grateful problems. Someone's acting grateful now, but it's because they're running into problems caused by their own rumors, pride and ego. Excuse me. Somebody wants to silence your greatness. Or like, there's like communities, towns, cities that attacked you, okay? And they attacked your character, but you're actually quite great. And, uh, quite great. Um, and when they're, when they're recognizing this, how, like, ordinary they are and how extraordinary your love is, okay, because you don't even hold, you don't even really hold anything against these people like you forgive them, right? You forgive them, but they're not going to be in your life, okay? Um, like, keep your distance, don't talk to me, but I don't hate you, right? So like you doing that um, makes these people feel a certain way. And watching your greatness, they're like crickets. <laughs> crickets. Crickets, crickets. A windstorm? What's a windstorm? I've never heard of a windstorm before. Maybe it's just not. It just, just doesn't happen where I am. A windstorm? Okay, and then I was also hearing tinnitus. So tinnitus is a ringing in the air. And heel spurs. And um, tennis elbow. And something about the knee. So joints, something about joints and tinnitus, okay? Joints and tinnitus and arthritis. So what I would recommend is the carnivore diet now that I'm all educated on that. <laughs> um, but look into it and figure out what's best for you. Some people like carnivore and fruits because they like the carbs and sugar that fruits give them, especially for workouts, or at least that's what Joe Rogan said. <laughs> um, but if you're like me, you're allergic to almost everything, okay? Because everything that I've eaten so far, like I'm allergic to walnuts, for sure, for sure. I'm allergic to makeup. I'm allergic to the makeup brushes. <sighs> is what it is maybe when I'm like fully um better because it gets worse before it gets better 
and my rashes are gone and my sniffling is gone and my all my symptoms are kind of regulated like I don't know stable my body my system is stable um I'll try to introduce like different things because yeah anyway I'm just not right now I I need to allow my body to heal <laughs> So your greatness has these communities that attacked you, um, silent crickets. <laughs> uh, it has these people really wanting to do this Lent. <laughs> um, fasting isn't good for the body, I don't think. It's good unless you like really need to like really detox and you're obese. Oh. And repenting and letting go of things is always good. It's always good. Yes. But make sure you're praying to the right God. Hi. Um, yes. I, I, I really, I don't care about the TV. So you guys figure it out amongst yourselves. Okay. Okay. So somebody's pride and ego has got them into trouble. It creates problems for them. Okay. It allows them to miss out on opportunities. It allows them to think that they're too good for certain people based on the way that they look and the things that they have. And that's why somebody's high horse is looking at them like, who do you think you are? How are you any more important? How are you any more or less human than anybody? So somebody judged a book by its cover here. And the book was actually extraordinary. Okay. Once this person got stable and grounded, this person felt like the ten of swords in their back once they realized who this person actually was in a stable, grounded, healthier environment, okay? And it didn't even take much um, of a difference. It just took this person protecting their energy because it's not like people, it's not like people are, are fucking with this person less. It's just that um, this person's just evolving and becoming more spiritually equipped. Um due to the pressure of what's going on around them. <laughs> like, you know how people say pre pressure creates diamonds? Like, pressure will make or break you. <clears throat> and now that this person sees your greatness, it shows them the lesson that they needed to learn about their pride and their ego. This could be a Pisces or a Virgo. And it has them fucking crickets. <laughs> They're having trouble dealing with their with their with their problems and like coming to a realization that where this pride got them, where this ego got them. And they're deciding to be like they're choosing to be more ordinary, like really recognize that they're no better or no less than anybody else. <laughs> Trying to be grateful grateful for the lessons well good that this is that's good there's a relationship that was trouble that caused problems that allowed someone to be in their pride and ego this like this like your pride and ego got boosted times a thousand being with this person this pisces or this virgo Okay, creating rumors around you all the time. Um, all the time. This exasperated all your illnesses, all your problems, all your trouble. Okay, so be really grateful for the lessons that this person taught you because 
That's a good part of why you were in your pride and ego because this person lives this way. This is their way of being. Okay? You let it infect you. But I mean that was infectious grounds. Different environment, it'd be a different story. <laughs> so if there's a breakup here and somebody like use and abuse your love, be grateful for the lessons. Be grateful that is this person with these rumors who always cause trouble, who put you in your pride and ego, who always cause problems. Be grateful for all the lessons, okay? And that's how you get over that type. And then be silent. This person doesn't want you to break up with them. Because they're like... They were involved with this unnecessary parental issues. Unnecessary parental issues. So this could be a baby mama or a baby daddy. But or, it, this could be one of the people who are um, in cahoots with some somebody's parents. They're not taking anything from the mistakes that they do. Okay, they're just mad that they their plan didn't get to follow through. That rhymed. <laughs> Damn. They're only mad because their plan didn't get to follow through. Follow through. Okay. And then I was like running into a bunch of like Kevin Gate motivational speeches last night. And he's he's like spiritual. <laughs> he, he's spiritual, man. He 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 trusts in energy, right? Freedom in the reverse. Parental issues, freedom in the reverse. Somebody's parents are like well known in the community. Jealousy, pay it back. Oh fuck. Greed in the reverse. Mental illness in the reverse, new love in the reverse, self-love in the reverse. Man. Trustworthy. Blessed. Wow. Wow. Witch warlock. Somebody's parents are like witches and warlocks. Okay. Their practices are like ritualistic. And it doesn't matter if they're like religious or like whatever they claim to be. It doesn't matter. They're a fucking witch or a warlock. Like there's certain things that they do. There are certain acts that they do out of jealousy in order to like stunt people's growth and their freedom to think and move. Ooh, <laughs> let me show you this. Okay. A community of witches and warlocks, parental issues. So that's the main part of the reading. Okay, jealousy in the upright. Pay it back in the upright. Okay, this is their energy, jealousy and pay it back. This is your energy, trustworthy and blessed. Okay, they wanted to not have you free. Freedom in the reverse. Freedom to think, freedom of speech, freedom, period. Okay, they were jealous. And, and the, the, the way that they have to pay this back, it makes them even more jealous, okay? I, I posted, um, oh shit, sorry. I posted a video from Mystic, um, I think it's Mystic Nine is her name, but it's on the community tab. And she was talking about um, these people are, they admire you, okay? They admire you. You encourage them. You inspire them. So instead of like just telling you that they admire you and letting that be their motivation, um, they get jealous and they conspire. So instead of being real, um, they be fake and they they just lie about it. They conspire. Instead of taking that inspiration um, and using it in a healthy way, they conspire so that they can take everything that 
you've manifest for yourself. Greed in the reverse. You're not greedy. So that someone tried to say that you were greedy and you're not. Mental illness in reverse. So they very much have the ment mental illnesses if they were to do this, right? Conspire. New love in the reverse. They want you to go back to an old love so they wouldn't have to pay it back. Um, Self-love in the reverse. They didn't want you to love self. Like, th these people would, like, ask you little things or get everybody to ask you little things so that if you were to say no, you'd kind of look like an asshole because these little things that they would ask for you were just little things. But everyone conspired to ask you for little things. Everyone was assigned a role to do so. Okay. They would ask everything. Everyone would always be asking something of you. And, and it gave you not enough time to love self because you were spread so thin just by little things, but they add up. Little things add up. You're understanding that this new love that they avoided you to have by saying that they were greedy and had mental illnesses and were jealous and would only stop, would, would fuck with your freedom. They said that this person would steal your freedom, that they're a jealous person, that they're really greedy. They don't even love themselves. They don't even have respect for themselves. They have mental illnesses. Okay. Um... You're realizing that this new love that they wanted you to avoid taking, one second please, um, was actually trustworthy and blessed. Okay, so with these, um, with this witch and warlock energy being the main energy here, I'm getting a bunch of backfiring of energies. Like they tried to, they tried to, this is all yesterday. <laughs> this is all yesterday because you're trustworthy and blessed. These people, these people tried to have it so that you wouldn't take care of yourself. That backfired. These people tried to have it so that you wouldn't have new love. That backfired. Okay. These people have to pay it back. They're jealous about this. And this is what fueled them to send all of these spells, okay? They wanted you to have mental illness and be confused in the crown. Your messages to be all fucked up, right? Confusion, I felt this yesterday. Um, they wanted your illnesses to exasperate. That backfired, okay? They wanted you to look greedy and like just outside of yourself for money. That backfired. Now, people are going to see all of this about them. Like, the, people are going to look at them, and that's the first thing that they're going to notice due to this backfiring of energy. They wanted you to not be free. And that's going to backfire as well. And they made that free willing choice to do so. So, that's it for the key cards. Yeah, you just have, you have extraordinary love. And they, they, they know this. They don't want that to be true. They don't even want to believe it themselves. People are starting, someone's starting to reflect about how off balance they are. Okay, someone's realizing that someone was in the closet as well. Secret enemies. <laughs> Wanted to be with you. Black magic. Freedom from these people, these witches and warlocks. Being a leader in your life. Damn, good job. <laughs> Someone's doing great. Someone's doing great. Maybe you feel like you're not, but just it gets it gets a little bit worse before it gets better, okay? Just keep on with the detoxing of the mind, the body. <clears throat> and if you feel like down in spirits, just give it to God, man. Give it to God. That peaceful one, that one that's free, that one that gives you freedom to think, to speak, to be exactly who you are. Okay, I'm going to do some affirmation cards.
I take care of my loved ones and self. I'm ready to leave behind anything that hinders my spiritual growth. So you could be in this energy. Like taking care of yourself and your children, right? If they're under the age of what? Probably like 25. Because 18 is just way too young. 18 is just way too young to let go of the, the babes. Or let go of guiding the babes, right? I'm blessed by the universe. Somebody doesn't want to believe that you're blessed by the universe, but they know it to be true because otherwise they wouldn't admire and be jealous about what you create with the universe. They're like, how? How does this, how, how, how? They watch you and they're like, oh. It is something about her. It is something. She does have something, right? And they can't admit that, right? They can't admit that. They can't bring themselves to admit that. Their pride, their ego, their jealousy, whatever it is, right? Because they conspired against you. So, God forbid that they admire you. But God doesn't forbid it. Okay? He doesn't. He put me on a platform to for a reason. He put other people on platforms for a reason guided them to do so people are mad that you're harnessing positive energy from their attacks <laughs> oh I'm creating a secure future for myself and my family. Ten of Pentacles. They're mad. Big mad. <laughs> These people are ungrateful. That they're mad because the abundance that they collected that is yours. To self-serve, right? That surrounded them is no longer going to surround them. Something's been taken. Or will be. And they're mad. Because even though they took this from you, even though they tried to have you not have any of your wishes come true, take all everything from you, it didn't take away the security of, of you knowing that you can co-create. Like it just didn't knock you down ever. It didn't make you think different ever. Like everything that was supposed to affect you um, actually allowed, it motivated you, it pushed you forward, it allowed you to harness even the negative emotions that people were throwing at you to create positive emotions, right? And, and become good on a deeper level. <laughs> they're so mad. They're so mad. They're so mad because they're not getting their wish of this Ten of Pentacles. Okay, that they wanted to secure their future for themselves and their family, but it was never yours. So you're doing that at the expense of others, and that's evil. You never created that. Go get your own fucking Kool-Aid, man. Make your own shit. Do your own thing. Somebody's like, thinks that it was an ease for you. Go watch Abraham Hicks. That's where I learned this shit back in the day. Back in the day, that's where I learned this stuff, okay? Go learn it for yourself. I don't even know what to say to someone like you, like, or like someone like this person. It's energy. And you could learn it for yourself if you could bring yourself to admire people who succeed. 
just because it like is mind boggling to you that it's someone who you conspired against and made homeless and killed in the hospital and attacked on many occasions, okay? Just because that's mind boggling to you doesn't make it any less true. Go be mad. <laughs> Go be mad. And I'll just be my and I'll just be this. Okay? I'll just nurture the spiritual growth of myself and other people who want to listen, who aren't defiant. Right? Go have that hissy fit elsewhere. It's not going to do anything for you but have all your wishes not come true. Okay? Because that's what you wish for somebody else. Is to create security and for your family and your future based off of somebody else's detriment. Go be evil elsewhere. Take it somebody somewhere else. Take it somewhere else. Like that that energy doesn't get fed here. We don't fester. We don't we don't host that energy here. Four of wands in the reverse. They wanted to make it so that you had no reason to celebrate that you had nothing to be thankful for, that you had nothing to be grateful for, but it did the opposite. You resolved to do the right thing, even when the, any other way looked easier, you did the right thing. And these people saw that and kept that knowledge close to their chest so that other people wouldn't see it. But they left some information behind, like like, ev like even if they took that information and, and didn't say it, they kept it close to their chest so other people wouldn't know that you always resolve to do the right thing, even when something else looks easier, okay? What they didn't think of is your essence, your presence the way you hold yourself, the way you speak, the way you address things, the questions you ask. Okay, they didn't think of that. Okay, so that's something left behind. That's the paper trail that makes them sus. Okay, and then they're gonna look into these people and see how much they held to their chest. When this didn't need to go any further, it only went further so that they could collect your Ten of Pentacles. So that they could secure something for themselves at the expense of you. And you still took that energy of hate and chaos and transmuted it, right? You harnessed it and you used it as like a positive something to push you forward, to motivate to encourage, to inspire. Wow, this is actually fucking so powerful. <laughs> this is actually so powerful. Wow. I'm open to everything that helps me on my path. Page of Swords. These people have to watch. These people have to watch. And if they, it's like, I, like I'm getting like, I'm melting, like they're fucking like melting, like fucking crickets, man. Nothing to say. Good, keep it that way. Keep it that way. Like, if you're one of these people, go recant your lies. Go recant your lies before you get some sort of objection, ob objection, obstruction of justice charge or some perjury charge, okay, for being a fucking hater, for these random acts of hate, okay? Go do that, maybe. Maybe that'll make you feel better. Maybe that'll make you feel less ugly in the stomach. Somebody's stomach is just fucking turning, man. I can feel it. <laughs> okay, I think that's enough for this. That's intense. It's intense. Like, don't come to this person. They don't want to speak to you. Like, I don't want to speak to anybody. Fuck off. <laughs> In the most... Like, I don't even... Who are you to me? Who are you to me, really? Like, would it be weird... Yeah, it would, because I don't have any friends or family members other than my grandmother. Okay, because she's getting old. And my, my other step-grandfather, because he's getting old, right? Um, 
that's it. Everybody else hates me, and that's okay. I'm not for everybody. I'm not for everybody, and I don't want to talk to you either. Okay, and the only reason you want to talk to me is because you're in some shit. And it's not going to help you. If you were an accessory to murder, and you came and talked to the person that was had the murder plot on their life, it didn't work, right? It didn't work. It was conspired, but it didn't work. And you go talk to the person that you were an accessory to murdering, doesn't make you any less of an accessory. Like what? They don't want to be left out in the cold, but when they don't want to be left out in the cold when it comes to material matters, because that's what matters to them. Material matters. So they're going to throw magic at it so that they're able to ride off your coattail. Chill. They want you to let your guard down. But you're enlightened on the stagnancy that they tried to create in your life. They want to be a part of this. Settle, settle down. But you know. You know this. Somebody's enlightened that your mes messages come straight from the divine. Come straight from the divine. That you just bring peace. Your messages are offerings of peace. Um, of healing. Um, these people wanted to like surround you so that their, it was their word against yours and they had the numbers. It was like fucking like thousands, thousands against one. <laughs> Somebody's trying to manifest so that you don't need to be on defense all the time, okay? That you actually have like an honorable mention for bringing peace to a situation through your psychic abilities. Somebody's enlightened on this and they don't want to be stagnant towards it anymore. They don't want you to be left out in the cold when it comes to your materials. Wow, that's awesome. Somebody sees eye to eye. They want to balance the situation out and it's a ten of swords for these people. Because they try to have your ships come in and move forward with this plan and get you arrested. Bring you a love offer, gaslight, and you just walked away. Somebody wants you to be able to walk away from this situation. Thank you to whoever that is. Um, in my situation and other people's situation, you're amazing. You're amazing. <laughs> so there is people that hold you in high honor very much. So they see what you do. They see what you're doing. And like they see the good changes, the healthy changes that you're making and they're in your corner, man. I, I feel that like randomly I'll feel I'll feel the love from somebody and I'm just like, yes, <laughs> I know, you know, like somebody's not somebody like actually has your back in the situation behind the scenes. OK, because it's it's a very much um, behind the scenes type of situation. So. If you find, if you like feel a boost of like love for once, <laughs> that is somebody in your corner. So just send them it like a thank you prayer, right? Thank you. Like, I love you too. <laughs> um, okay. Angel number six and angel number 19. Remind yourself that when you die, your in basket won't be empty. So you never know, right? You could die tomorrow. You could die tomorrow, so stop making excuses that go ahead of what's important to you. So many of us live our lives as if the secret purpose is to somehow get everything done. We stay up late, we get up early. We avoid having fun and keep our loved ones waiting. I'll be right back. We stay up late, we get up early, we avoid having fun, and we keep our loved ones waiting.
Sadly, I've seen many people who put off their loved ones so long that the loved ones lose interest in maintaining the relationship. I used to do this myself. Often we convince ourselves that our obsession with our to-do list is only temporary, that once we get through the list, we'll be calm, relaxed, and happy. But in reality, this rarely happens. As items are checked off, new ones simply replace them. And it really like makes people feel not special, right? When, when it's, what is it, fear? Well, fear is false. Fear is false evidence appearing real due to like doubts that other people put in your mind that are negative, that are manipulative. It's an illusion. And it's illusion, an illusion based off the things that they know you fear. So it's evil. The nature of your in-basket is that it's meant to have items to be completed in it. It's not meant to be empty. There will always be phone calls that need to be made, projects to complete, and work to be done. In fact, it can be argued that a full in-basket is essential for success, is essential for success. It means your time is in demand. Regardless of who you are, what you do, however, remember that nothing is more important than your own sense of happiness and inner peace and that of your loved ones. If you're obsessed with getting everything done, you'll never have a sense of well-being. In reality, almost everything can wait. Very little in our work lives truly falls into the emergency category. If you stay focused on your work, it'll all get done in due time. I find that if I remind myself frequently that the purpose of life isn't to get it all done, but to enjoy each step along the way and live a life full, filled with love. It's far easier for me to control my obsession with completing my list of things to do. Remember when you die, there will still be unfinished business to take care of. And you know what? Someone else will do it for you. Don't waste any more precious moments of your life regretting the inevitable. Have a good day, people.